Look around your home. What machines do you see? A vacuum cleaner, table fan, mixer, grinder, refrigerator, hand drill. What about knife and scissors? These things are also machines found in our homes. Some machines have moving parts while some don't. Some run on electricity, some don't. All these machines do one thing, make our jobs around home easier. Our muscles do many jobs. All day, every day, muscles push or pull for you. However, many tasks need more force than muscles alone can give. Did you ever try cracking a betel nut with your bare hands or pulling this nail out of the board with your fingers? You try as hard as you can, but you cannot just do it. You are likely to use a nutcracker and claw hammer to do the same. You can lift a spare tire from the car, but you will need a jack to lift the whole car. When you think about machines, you probably think of generators, cranes, trucks and power tools like these. All these machines need motors to work, but there are machines around us which do not need motors like scissors and pliers. These can be easily operated by us alone. These are called simple machines and like all machines, they help people to do some kind of work. They have only one or two parts and are very easy to operate. Machines can make a force stronger. We apply a small force. Machine transfers it into a larger force. Nutcracker, claw hammer, jack are nothing but a kind of machine. You may not think of these as machines, but each of these made a small force we applied stronger to perform the task. We can say that a machine is a device which helps us to do work. We use the word work in a special way. We do work when we move things around, like throwing this ball or moving this book. Tejas is reading the book. He keeps it on the shelf when he is done with reading. He has done work on the book. If he keeps the book on the upper shelf, he has done more work on the book. He needs the same force or effort this time but has to apply for a longer distance. Work has two parts. First, how much force or effort is needed? And second, how far force or effort is used which is nothing but distance. Work can be defined as movement of force through distance. The sweeper is cleaning the road with the broom. Top part of the stick is moving back and forth only a short distance, but the broom is moving much longer. Force applied by the sweeper on the handle causes the broom to cover greater distance. You used a claw hammer to remove the nail from the wooden board. When you pull the handle, the small force you apply on the handle becomes a much larger force at the place where the hammer is locked in the nail. This enables you to remove nail with the small force. There is a saying, you do not get anything for nothing, means nothing is free. This may not be true for everything, but it is true for machines. A machine does not multiply force without charging a price. The price is the greater distance effort moves. When a machine multiplies the force, it also increases the effort distance. It may help by changing the amount of force or speed of action. This claw hammer is a machine which can be used to pull the nail out. A relatively small pull on the handle produces much greater force on the claws. There are only six simple machines. One. Inclined plane. 2. Wedge. 3. Screw. 4. Lever. 5. Wheel. 6. Pulley. However, physicists recognize that there are only two basic principles in machines, namely lever 
add inclined plane. The wedge and screw use the principle of the inclined plane. Pulley, wheel and axle may be considered types of levers. When you are familiar with the principles of these simple machines, you can readily understand operations of complex or compound machines. Summary Machines of all forms make our jobs easier. Machine is a device which helps us to do work. Work can be defined as movement of force through distance. Simple machines have one or two parts and are easy to operate. There are six types of simple machines. Let us explore simple machines one by one.